Welcome back to my first review on Happy Go Lucky BO Reviews. We are looking back to a game that we definitely should be looked upon in a different light. A game that should get much more credit than it originally does. A game that has fallen victim to the patch. The patch is what we call today as sometimes a day one patch where a game isn't quite finished or needs touch up and is shipped and released anyways. The distributors hope that this will fix all the problems day one. Sometimes it's even worse than they expect, and it takes weeks, two months, before it's playing normal. The best quote would be from Nintendo's Miyamoto that said, A delayed game is eventually good, but a rush game is forever bad. That's music to any gamer's ears, of course, but it still happens today, and none more notorious than BioWare's Mass Effect Andromeda which will be our game of choice today. By now, everyone knows about all the delays, company turmoil, changing the game's direction, and not just having enough time with the game. I agree that the game still needed much more time to bake. Of course, deadlines, financials to adhere to, plus big business pushing buttons, push the game out, hoping the brand, Mass Effect, will hold its own until the patches will eventually fix the game. Yes, the game was fixed, but it took months for all the patches to come out. By then, only the hardcore benefited from this wait. Almost everyone bought the criticism and stayed away. I personally purchased the Deluxe Edition when it came out, as I'm a huge Mass Effect fan. In the end, I waited about two to three months before taking the game seriously, since I wanted to play the game, you know? And the final version of the patches were about to run its course. I beat the game on my Xbox One S and then beat it again with its enhanced version on the Xbox One X when I upgraded, spending well over 100 plus hours spanning four characters. I thoroughly enjoyed the game and advocate to anyone who haven't played this game yet to give it a try. It doesn't have any DLC in sight, it's not going to have any, but you're looking at 5 to $6 for the game and it's complete with all its patch glory as long as you have access to the internet. I call this the undiscovered country, since the meaning from Hamlet is our lack of knowledge about it. Most people never gave it a try, and on super early reviews, you know, they never did. As the happy-go-lucky type of guy I am, not many things get me down, as you will see with my future reviews. I tend to like everything. But this is something that must be played if you're a sci-fi or Mass Effect fan in general. Mass Effect Andromeda is a AAA title with gorgeous graphics, great gameplay, and a fantastic story. Yes, this is not better than Mass Effect 2. But what game truly is? This game does everything right, and I don't care if you don't like all the characters or like any of the new ones, like the past trilogy. I never liked all the characters in the Mass Effect series anyways, so only a handful will, will ever really grace my memory. Heck, in Mass Effect 2, on my second playthrough of course, I knew which characters would die on the last mission, and I purposely made the ones I cared nothing for die. Andromeda focused on combat more than anything else, as you are practically a strategic god with guns throughout the game. This is probably the best third-person shooter I have ever played. The story was fine. The character in action was a bit juvenile at times, but you can always be serious in the end. Most reviewers played the first couple of missions and moved on about how terrible the voice sync was and how the eyes of every character had no emotions. Yes, this game had issues. Yes, this game was released way too early, but the game is worth every penny it is today. This is my third favorite Mass Effect, only because I love 2 and 3 so much. I can't call it my number one, even with its superior combat and immersion of a brand new universe, since it's like cheating on the trilogy that I've played before. 
In the case of Andromeda, it was bashed so hard there was no room for recovery, and no more sequels to expand on its lore and universe. Mass Effect 1 is nothing, nothing without 2 and 3, and well, Andromeda is something special that never could and never would because of its disastrous release. At least everyone still has a chance to check out the game on the cheap, just the way I like it. That's a wrap for me. Beho out, and Greg, take us out of here.